Hello there, my name is Idris and today I'm going to show you how to uh, set up your reference images inside of ZBrush Core. Uh, this trick will also work exactly the same way inside of ZBrush, uh, so anything you learn here will work exactly the same inside of ZBrush if you ever change or if you're looking at this and you have ZBrush and not ZBrush Core. So uh, to demonstrate this we're going to be uh, using this wonderful piece of art made by Fabien Mentz. Uh, I'll have a link to his uh, page inside the description, so please do check that out, check that page out. And uh, we're going to be using this uh, very nice turnaround he made of his one of his character. So to start off, we are going to uh, maybe scale up the image since it's quite small, like so. And now we are going to crop it and make sure it's a perfect square and we are going to center it around this character no wait we're not going to crop it just yet we're going to first make a copy of this front view, drag it on top, make a copy of this back view because that's all we really need, like so. We're going to find the middle of our image, we are going to center our front view to it. Back view to it as well. We are going to find where the feet align. So you can drag inside of Zebra, inside of Photoshop. You can use any um, image software you want to do this, but inside of uh, Photoshop, you can drag reference lines uh, from the ruler. So you simply start clicking inside of the ruler and drag down. And that way you can import reference lines. We're going to pick the top of the eyebrow like so. Now, we're going to align that front view increase it ever so slightly like so. And our back view, our back view is too high. Back view, we're going to move it down, and that should be good. Okay, now, now we can crop our image uh, don't crop. Yeah, let me make. I want you to let me make my selection up. So we are going to crop our image. We are going to create a new white layer just to make clean things up. This is our where this is our front view. We are simply going to clean that piece off. We're going to save this as front view. And then we are going to save this as the back view. And now we're going to jump back right like so and we are just going to Crop, but we're going to move ever so slightly like this to make sure we have enough uh, room for the uh, the tail at the end. 
and we're just simply going to save this as our JPEG side view. So essentially what, we're, what we've done is that we have made a square. Uh, it's not important that it's square. It's important that all the reference images have exactly the same size. That will save you some time. So essentially uh, a square is easier because uh, since the side view is is almost as high as he's wide with his tail. So a square a square was uh, a good place to start. But uh, as long as all your images have exactly the same size, so the same height and width, uh, you should be good to go. Then we've aligned everything inside of that format and then we've simply just saved them as uh, JPEGs. You can use any other format, but you have to make sure it's uh, flattened. Now we are going to jump inside of ZBrush Core or ZBrush. We are going to turn off perspective and here there is this uh, floor button and where we can turn on X, Y and Z. We are not going to be using the Y floor, that is the ground floor inside of ZBrush. Inside of Texture, we are going to hit Import Front, Import Back, and Import Side. Then we are going to go inside of the Draw panel, select Front Map 1 is going to be our front view. Then map two is going to be our back view. And then inside of left to left, right, we are going to hit side view. And there you go. Your reference images are set up aligned properly. So if the images aren't exactly the same height, you would have to, uh, inside of the draw panel, you, you can adjust the scale, the horizontal and vertical offset. So you would have to tweak these and spend a lot of time uh, to ensure everything is aligned. But if you export every file in, um, with the exact uh, image format, the same ex uh, image format, when you use them and import them inside of uh, ZBrush Core, uh, they will align themselves perfectly. So now you can see that we have our front view, when we go on the side, we have our side view, and we will look at the back, we have the back view. And if you, inside of the draw, you could use a different image for your left and right, you could use an image for the up and button, and you can use a different image, and if you have only one image, you can just hit one, and I will use the same image for both sides. And that's all there is to it. So this is how you would set up your image. Uh, you can turn perspective on. When you move your cursor around the model, you can see there's a, a blue line that goes to one of your reference and the red line that goes to another reference. So you can see where things align according to the reference image. And then you can use all your uh, usual sculpting tools to make this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a comment uh, if you want to see something specific covered. Uh, this was a suggestion in one of the comments. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe if you like the content in this video. I will be streaming um, hopefully Monday, uh, starting maybe around 9 9.30 a.m. here in France. I'll have a, a link to the channel up on the screen. So uh, if you want to see longer videos and uh, things like that, please do uh, come and watch me and uh, watch me stream and hopefully uh, I won't be alone. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.